Hey and welcome. Uh, this is a video that I've been trying to do for more than a year, but finally I got both time and possibility to do it. So I'll try to do it right now. Uh, this will be about why I'm not streaming on Twitch anymore, how much I miss it, and uh, what else we can do. Like, what else I will do until I get back to streaming, because it will be a long time until I get back to Twitch. It will be approximately everything from three months to two years from now but i will be back to twitch uh, i will do it gradually and i will tell you what happened when i streamed uh, i will tell you why i stopped streaming what issues i had in the end of my stream like i streamed for about eight months and now it's two years today it's two years since i started streaming so it's like twice as long that I've been off stream since my first stream. So I'm gonna t t talk to you about what happened and uh, then what I'm gonna do, what is preventing me from streaming right now and uh, what I need before I will do it again. So let's start. Uh, when I was starting streaming, I lived in, uh, it was during the summer, two years ago, on this day, two years ago, and I actually started streaming on a laptop that was uh, low-end and uh, all I streamed was TBL with some music in the background and I was talking about everything. It was a great time, I actually had quite nice following, like I think I had a couple of hundred followers within uh, only a few months. I made an affiliate within 1.5 months and after that I found a guy, I was moving, I was actually living in Jönköping, south in Sweden, and my apartment was really small, but it was nice enough to stream from there. But I started streaming while I was back home in Stockholm, uh, using my mother's apartment to stream from. So I was uh, just doing it for fun during the summer, but then it went so well that when I get back to Jönköping, I bought a real computer, bought some new games that I in initially wanted to stream, and after that I uh, just kept rolling and it, it was quite good until these technical issues started. So for the first few months after I moved back to Jönköping it was no issues, like I could stream on um, uh, like normal. And it was uh, quite high-end games for my stream, uh, for my computer, <laughs> but it wasn't an issue. But here's the thing, I was living in a basement of a quite large uh, villa with a family above me so I couldn't make too much sounds I didn't have ethernet cable all the walls were uh, conc thick concrete so uh, the internet was quite up and down they had Wi-Fi right above my head that was either 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz I could choose I could never have the 5 gigahertz on my computer I could have it on the laptop I could have it on my phone but never on my streaming computer and to this day I have no idea why because it was right at the top of my head and I had good streaming uh, good internet quality on my other devices on the same place uh, so what happened was that it was one of two apartments and the other apartment was mostly empty it was uh, a company that rented it and only used it for a few, short while uh, like two days a week or something like that so it wasn't a problem but when someone moved in and lived there every day as I did uh, they used the same internet and 2.4 gig hatch only had th three frequencies that you can use so when we were two sharing that and my laptop and my phone were more or less connected he has both computer and phone and laptop so it was like seven different devices uh, using the same frequencies which started to make uh, the stream really really bad it really affected my stream and I tried with a 5 gig hatch didn't work on my computer but I co connected my other in, uh, devices to it and that started to make it better but still my neighbors had the same frequencies and that created a big problem not just for streaming but for gaming for communication for everything and um, after a few months my school got a bit boring I lost uh, some uh, discipline in studying so I lost my income which was a loan based on it was a study loan based on how well I was doing in school so I needed to be there like 
75% of the day and uh, have at least uh, a two or three in each uh, class and uh, since I was dropping out or I didn't even enjoy going to school like I liked my study mates but I didn't enjoy how stupid they were like they weren't stupid they, they just didn't cut out for the school so I wasn't uh, disciplined enough to lower myself to them but still raise myself to complete the studies so when I dropped that out I didn't have any money I had to move home back uh, back home to Stockholm so since then I've been living with my sister and during this time I stopped streaming because of the internet issues and because I quit school and because of economy and the move didn't help because if you as I live right now it's not possible for me to stream even though I sometimes have a great internet sometimes do not um, so I quit school quit uh, didn't have any any income at all so I had to go back to my old job which is still the one I have and that is uh, as an orderly in an old folks home uh, nothing special quite low salary but it's a nice job that makes me be kind of free to do whatever I want when I'm not in school yeah uh, when I'm when I'm not uh, at the job um, but another thing is that I'm living in my sister's apartment which is quite small and she doesn't approve of me either gaming nor does she approve of me streaming so I can't like help can't get her to help me get the stuff I need to get starting streaming hopefully I can talk to her about this when I will uh, do more and more video uploads uh, show her of my followage she, she hasn't really been trying to understand it she just gets mean at me so uh, so what I need is uh, my own apartment before I started streaming and that is the biggest thing another thing is that I don't have good enough internet like the internet quality isn't that bad because I live in Sweden like we are top of the world when it comes to how good uh, internet we have the problem here is same as the other one is concrete thick concrete walls which means Wi-Fi is a bit shaky sometimes you drop it all together and sometimes it's perfect it's uh, just annoying that it changes so much it fluctuates too much for me to play the games I really enjoy like Arma 3 I love the uh, community I play with but I haven't been able to play with them for two years or something like that because if my internet fluctuates while I'm on a server I will get disconnected from the server even if I don't drop off internet but if I have too high ping or too low uh, download rate I will be dropped off of the server and it would take me like 20 minutes to get back in and probably I have ruined the missions that we run or ruined the game for others like remember it's 70 people on this uh, server playing together so if one person dropping off might not be that big a deal but we all have a specific role for what we're doing so if I drop off and then it just changes the aspects of how the game will play and I don't want to put 70 other people into this uh, into that uh, uh, thing like uh, that uh, problem uh, another thing is that uh, during uh, not during the winter but during the spring summer and fall I try to go to my summer cabin and try to make it as habitable as possible and try to work on it and just try to relax besides streaming that's the only place where I can find energy every single day I am there, there. yeah so that's about it another game that I want to play is uh, Escape from Tarkov but the same thing is there that it is a hardcore PvP first person shooter so if my internet fluctuates I'm gonna die I'm gonna lose my equipment and I'm gonna have to redo everything and I'm gonna get bored and poor in the game just because my fluctuation in the uh, of my internet uh, but I'm back watching twitch finally uh, I subscribe to the people I love the most will probably have to stop subscribing to them because of my economy but I love uh, watching streams being active active in communities and stuff like that other things I'm gonna do in the future now uh, so I've been since 
my top playing games, like my favorite games, doesn't really work out for me to play. Uh, there are some other games I'm going to play. I'm going to play CSGO. I will never stream CSGO as far as I know because I suck at it and I need full attention to the game while playing it because I like playing it competitively even though it's really low level, low ranked. I like uh, the competitive factor in that game and that's not possible if I'm gonna watch a chat or if I'm gonna have to talk to you or tell you what I'm doing. I might be able to make some videos about it but I'm not gonna be able to stream it because I'm not that uh, I'm not equipped enough to both be playing it and streaming it. There's a difference between what you do. Like in Arma 3 and Escape from Tarkov and uh, what other games have I streamed? I've streamed uh, PUBG, which is more or less the same as CSGO, but there you can have fun and you don't have... I'm not, I'm not as competitive in uh, PUBG as I am in CSGO. So I will make videos on YouTube uh, for different reasons for probably for the pro scene mostly for CSGO but also some Twitch topics that I find on Twitter or Twitter topics or any topic that I will find interesting enough to make videos about I will do it and I will do it good I will do it uh, about whatever I feel uh, feel like and for starters, I know already like 5 or 10 different uh, CSGO Pro videos that I'm gonna do, like analysis. I'm also uh, having two different esports job offers, not offers. Uh, I need to apply for two different jobs in esports and uh, that means that that will take up a lot of my time, free time. And it feels, <laughs> here's the fun thing, last couple of days. I haven't been working that much and still it feels like I have less spare time. For each week it seems like I work less and less, get m less and less money and still have less and less time doing what I like, like doing hobby things, doing whatever I feel like. And I have no idea what taking up all my time but we'll see. I need to just uh, make a good schedule I guess. Uh, that's probably what, I've have, what I have to do. So yeah, I'm gonna do some video analysis, uh, mostly things that I've already written on hltv.com or org, whatever it is, I don't care. Uh, because if you do it in writing, people will misunderstand you, but if you do it in a video, it's easier to highlight what you're talking about, why you're talking about it, and stuff like that. And yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. So for me to get back into streaming, I need a new job or to keep my uh, current job but get more hours or a better employment with the same employer if possible or a similar employer uh, I need to find a place to live uh, which is quite hard since I live in the most expensive part of Sweden right now I'm working in the most expensive part of Sweden and Sweden is one of the most expensive parts in the world especially when it comes to living so my living options are really slim at the moment and uh, this is starting to gnaw at me and it will actually be a big hassle and it takes a lot of my energy, takes a lot of my time, takes a lot of me as a person just to find a place to live which is affordable while still on a small budget uh, in a place of Sweden. I've been looking into maybe moving uh, but that also takes you need you need to have a starting capital or some uh, economy or some saved up a bank uh, to, to to be able to move to a different country. Right as of now, it's if I can save money, I will most likely move to either Edinburgh or to Malta. It depends on uh, job opportunities and how the future plans out. It's not certain that I'm gonna move, it's just something that I've had in mind for a couple of years. I've probably talked about it on stream, I've talked about it on social media a lot, and that's just uh, something I wanna do. But yeah, and also it's one thing that has stopped me from doing this is that I've, I've had this discussion many times on social media and in Twitch chats with other people, in private chats with uh, different streamers or content creators of different sorts, and 
I don't like making something bad when I know I can do it good. I, I'm not a perfectionist per se, but if I'm gonna do something, I want it to have quality. And as of now, it feels like most things I can do won't have quality. Not enough quality for me. Maybe for others, maybe for my viewers, maybe for my followers, maybe for you. I don't care, actually. For me, it is not enough. Uh, I need better quality to feel like I'm doing stuff. So if you just watch at this picture that I've, I've done everything that you find on this picture. Except for the Twitch logo. That's just copied off the internet. Uh, so that's what I'm... I like to do. I like to do my things from scratch and have a decent, at least a decent quality. A, de a quality that I can be proud of. It doesn't have to be perfect, it doesn't have to be good, it doesn't have to. It's just something that I need to be proud of. So, yeah, that's about it. And uh, my next video will most likely be a CSGO Pro related video analysis of a team. I'm not gonna say which team because. I haven't decided yet, and it also depends on if I get esports thing, which is what I'm gonna do right after I upload this video. Uh, I'm gonna do first a written editorial thing for one esports team, and if that works out, I'm gonna be their news editor for CSGO and maybe for some other esports games, depending on how much time I can put into it and how good I am at analyzing what they're doing. Uh, CSGO I feel comfortable with analyzing because I've put in a horrendous amount of time during the last year and a half since I got the game. Not just playing, but trying to understand, trying to read it, trying to follow the pro scene, trying to understand, trying to analyze. Like, I'm an analytic in personality. That's why I had my old job as a uh, software developer. Uh, so not software developer, sorry, I was a software tester. That's an analyst job, like you, you analyze what is wrong, why is it wrong, how can we improve it. And that just comes naturally to me, I'm not a technical person, but still I was really good at that job. And I won't go back to that job because it made me feel horrible, because it put more pressure on me than I could handle. With all the, the other things that I've been talking about, like housing, economy, being in a really extremely uh, expensive part of the world uh, and stuff like that like okay maybe I can do it if I can get back to Twitch because that's an outlet that I have but if I can't find an outlet before going back to that job I won't that's just it okay so until then it's just gonna be either a week or a month I have no idea when I'm gonna do stuff because things take so much more time than I actually initially thought about uh, thought would but yeah, this will be a great, and I hope to see you soon, and please, please, please hit me up on the Twitter, hit me up on Facebook, anything, just talk to me and give me feedback on what you want to see and what you expect of me, and if you miss me or if you think I'm doing, could do something else to improve my life or improve my situation, improve my Twitch status. So yeah, that's a but it, okay, when I get back to Twitch, I'm gonna stream Arma 3, Escape from Tarkov, maybe Scum, and that's about it. I don't think any other games will be possible with the time consuming factors that Twitch is, that gaming is, and that life is. So I, I will narrow it down to certain games, then I will play other games off stream because, I, as I said, I will continue with CSGO, but I won't stream it. And other games like that. So that's about it, and I hope to see you soon. I hope you just try to interact with me, in any case you know how to. Thank you so much.